that it's literally been so long but i hope you guys are all well i'm so excited for today's video because i'm back with another illusion i'm gonna be doing like a make like a glam slash illusion a uh, barbie house thing so basically obviously because barbie's trending right now the new barbie movie's coming out and i'm just inspired i really want to do the barbie house on my face but i'm gonna do it like a little split face kind of illusion situation you feel me so yeah but i'm gonna do that like half glam so i can do the whole barbie eyes barbie lips and then just kind of block out all this and do a little barbie house i'm so excited and i have literally everything laid out here i'm so prepared like who is she everything is on trend on vibes i have my pink bottle my pink top it's giving coordinated also if you haven't tried these bottles you should if you struggle drinking water like i did honestly this is like amazing like the little pods at the top smell on like different flavors this is peach and then you just put normal like just normal water in the bottle and this just like it's like it tastes like peach because of the smell it's really weird i've done my hair we've got my braids in thanks to my mama shout out to my mama she's so good and i love these braids so much and um, i'm going to take my watch off as well because it's just not it's ruining the vibe it's ruining the barbie vibes i've already moisturized as you can probably tell and i used the be perfect squalolane grapeseed oil oil serum hybrid honestly this stuff is amazing like i got it um and gifted to me and i tried it and honestly like it just hydrates your skin so quickly and it just leaves you like you could literally double as a primer as a moisturizer and a moisturizer like it's it's just lovely so i've already put that on i put it on like as soon as i got up um but i'm gonna prime the skin with the beauty crop cocoa gold perfecting primer it's like a mattifying primer and it just like gives you like a nice base which is pretty good for what we're doing because obviously obviously we're doing glam but we are doing like an illusion as well so we do want that perfect canvas my brows desperately need some maintenance but i'm not going to do that today i'm going to go straight in with my brow hold this is the be perfect indestructible eyebrow brow wax um and it's like clear it doesn't leave any white residue which is great and it comes with this little spoolie and normally i'll use a different one but this spoolie works really well it's quite hard um and really just lays down the brows so you just kind of want to spread that on both brows see so easy so the eyebrows have dried as you can see they're not going anywhere um so i'm gonna go in with concealer to just kind of carve out the brows now my everyday makeup i don't tend to do that anymore because i kind of like them just being left like this but for the barbie look i feel like i need them you know what i mean like structured so i'm gonna go in with the lancome ultra wear concealer i'm just gonna put a little bit on my wrist this is in the shade soup um i love this concealer it's like my new obsession but i'm going to mix in a little bit of it with the p louise base just because obviously it's got that stickiness for it for the eyeshadow later and some of it's going to go on my eyelid and i kind of want it to all just kind of blend onto my eyelid so i'm going to carve up my brow i'm using the peaches and cream pc 51 brush this is my favorite brush for like applying p louise base or anything on the eye like concealer smooth yeah, it's like a nice structured brow i feel like we need that also i've not filled out my brows in ages and um, because i've been using gel but look at that brow like that's got no like fill, like color fill in there at all have they grown so I have a few images of what I want the dream house to look like, very much like it is in the movie. I got that from Pinterest with the like spinny slide into the pool. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm going to like make it as good as possible. But um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do the eyes first, kind of get the base down and then go into the illusion. 
just so we can work around that it's going to be a lot easier but i'm going to map out uh, where the illusion is going to be first just so we're aware of where everything's going to lie and yeah i've got this brown eyeliner called the killer liner from too faced i'm going to use that just to start mapping out my half face illusion so i'm going to start quite high up just so we can fit more of the dream house in i always mess this up trying to get like the symmetry right <laughs> So now I've done our rough outline, I'm going to go in and start on the makeup side, which is exciting. I'm going to use the Uoma Say What Weightless Foundation. As you can see, she is much loved. Um, one of my favourites that I do end up going back to every so often. Um, I'm just going to use the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush and dab that foundation in. I'm doing a lot better, I feel like, since my last videos on here trying new makeup like I've always been the kind of person where I receive some makeup and I'm like oh my life I love it and then I'm like obsessed with it for like months and months and I refuse to use anything else and it's really annoying um because I run out of my favorite really quickly so yeah I've been better at trying out some new stuff look at that finish though clicks for you clicks for you i want to reach under here as well uh, and conceal under there so i'm going to take a little bit of concealer and try and do that with a beauty blender i'm going to have to be really really careful not to get rid of my drawing i did not deep this properly so i'm just going to take the pointy side and really just kind of location dab Try not to get it to spread out too much. Keep it where it lies. Even though I'm not done my eyes yet, I'm gonna set under the eyes because of the fact that I've had to really section it up very close. I don't want it to crease. So I'm gonna take my Trigwell Cosmetics Powder Puff. These are honestly, if you don't have one already, get one, they're incredible. Um, and I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder, get a little bit, I'm gonna say a little bit, little bit, and just set under the eye. Cause I wanna be able to draw that line again and not really disturb there after this. Lovely. I think we managed to spot conceal pretty well there. So I'm gonna go straight into the eyes now. I'm gonna take a little bit of Pilou's base on both. You kinda of wanna put a little bit more than usual actually because this is bright pink. And for some reason, whenever I put pink or red on my eyes, I stain. So I need to make sure the base is really giving so I don't stain too much. So I've never used this palette before. This is called the Ao Coralie my freaky diary deuce romance press pigment palette um it's really cute but look at these hot pinks that's what caught my eye and the blue because obviously we have the um little pool in blue house so i kind of want to incorporate a little bit of blue in the eye if possible um that might just start with the pink and then be like oh my god i love the pink so we'll see but the pink in this is stunning so we're gonna go in with the pink then can we start with that bold pink there and then we just kind of carry on that's the shade passion it looks pigmented so i'm thinking like maybe like a bit of a halo eye or maybe just like a really really like dramatic quick crease so i'm gonna just Ooh. That scent shivers down my spine. Oh my days. I don't think I've seen it. I don't even know what to do with myself. That's the most pigmented shadow I've ever seen. Wow. 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 I don't even know what to do with that shadow anymore. I feel like I've lost the, the skills. The ability to blend now i'm thinking now i know how pigmented that is i kind of want to go in 
with the bright pink just to see with a flat brush and just in the corner here oh yeah that's pretty okay I'm just using that hot pink to drag around the light one it's gonna blend 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 my eyes are popping I'm taking my Be Perfect Cosmetics bright 2.0 palette and there's a white shade in here that I absolutely I love and I use it probably way more than I should in my illusions so it's hitting pan I've literally I only just got it as you can see I'm hitting pan um but it's the most pigmented white eyeshadow I've ever had um I'm just gonna put it in the crease in the corner look at that so good and I'm gonna follow it up across the bit where it's creased just to separate the light pink and the dark pink. Just to give it a little definition. You wanna just tap that though if you don't wanna like brush too much and separate any colours going on. A moment for the shadows please because wow, I'm gonna add a little bit more pink. A little pink. Just a, just a, and just going in with a clean brush just to really buff out the edges. And now we're going to add eyeliner. I'm obsessed with this though, like, it's giving Barbie. Going in with the NYX Epic Wear Liner, an OG, I love this liner. And I'm just going to create like a, a very thin, dramatic wing. I really want these two to match as possible. I'm going to do a bit of concealer on my nose and my forehead. Obviously, I'm not able to do the rest of my face, but I want it to look as ready as the rest of me would if it was a full face. So I'm going to like kind of contour and highlight, but not really. So I'm going with the Lancome and I'm going with the H&B Cosmetics in SF SF2W. This is obviously a light shade, but I like the centre of my forehead and the centre of my nose. Uh, just looking super bright and light. I'm just gonna blend that out. And the same with the nose. Going in with the Laura Mercier Press Powder on the forehead and on the nose. But then I'm also gonna go in with the new H&B Cosmetics Press Powder. Now this is to lighten um and brighten um any powder you've got under your eyes so this is the powder this is the powder and you're going with the same puff i would go under my eyes um i might do but it's just a bit risky with the placement but that's what it looks like on my forehead it just adds a little bit extra brightness which i like and then afterwards i will contour and kind of buff it out i might try and put this under my eyes as well uh just here Mm. I actually quite like that. It looks so much better on this side than this side. So a little bit brighter. I'm going to contour with the Benefit Hula Toasted Bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose very quickly. I'm just going to make it like super small, like like a Barbie doll nose. Obviously this isn't a Barbie doll transformation but I do want to look like a doll. Um, so I'm just gonna and I'm gonna use that to just contour on the bottom of my forehead. Bring it back down to earth. <laughs> so now we're going for lashes. I got these lashes in TikTok shop a while ago and they literally make your eyes look like a dolly like I love them so I thought these would be appropriate for this look so I'm going to go in with the pair that I've already cut to size they do come quite long so you do have to cut them to size and I'm just going to put them on my eyes I was just thinking to myself like all the different things I've not been able to like catch you guys up on properly since I was last on YouTube obviously lots has happened it's just life like that is what it is but one of the most exciting things was going to the Avatar premiere like mind blowing I was so shocked to be invited, could not believe it. And then the fact that like Sigourney Weaver was there, Kate Winslet, like all of them, like I was just like absolutely starstruck. 
And the best part was when like Sigourney Weaver waved at me and I was like, <laughs> and then Kate Winslet was like pointing to mine, like that was cool. And I was like, you're joking me. Like I was this close to talking to her and someone grabbed her. I was so annoyed. I was like, why are you taking this opportunity away from me? But it's funny because everyone's so chill about like seeing them. So you don't want to be like too fangirly or like clearly a fan. You want to act professional. But also it's really hard to be professional because I mean, it's Kate Winslet. <laughs> How do you be professional? It's surreal like being on the blue carpet, like seeing everyone, watching the movie before everyone else. Like it was just such an insane opportunity. And I was just so happy I could have gone, especially because I love that movie. But in the end, I ended up watching it like three times overall, which is just like, obviously I love the movie, but three times in the space of like a couple months is insane. Far too many times. And I don't see myself watching it again anytime soon just because I can remember every detail and I don't need to see it right now. Those are the eyes done. I'm thinking now I want to kind of go on to this part and then go on to the illusion, but I might just do the foundation. I won't actually touch the lips till the last step. I also went to Harry's house party tour with NYX. It was incredible. So I went with NYX to the premiere and to Harry's house. Oh, that was insane. It was literally like such a nostalgic moment for me. Like, 12 year old me would have been absolutely dying because I used to absolutely love Harry Styles like I was obsessed with him like <laughs> I had such a major crush on him loved Zayn I loved all of them but Harry and Zayn were like my favourites um yeah so seeing him live after all this time was just so insane and it was such a good show like we had such a good time we were just singing and dancing and just having such a good vibe like i loved it absolutely loved it just setting this now as well now i want to mark out um just the lines that i've made for the half and half face shape so i'm going to start just at the nose here I want to fit everything in this look but I can't so the two things I really want is the, slip, the little slide and the pool if we can so I'm going to take this Colourpop gel cream eyeliner and I'm going to start drawing the slide so I've got a picture here I know I draw the slide this will be interesting I'm going to do it just going from the top so around there and the pool will just be there I think that's the best that's what I can call it. So I'm going to do it like coming around from here. Uh, yeah. I'm going to draw it and then like... <laughs> it's really going to be quite small because I want to put everything in. I'm just going to thicken it a bit. And I'll go in and add details. The gel liners from Colourpop are so good. I love how pigmented that is. I'm going to draw the pink pool outline. On here, this one is kind of like a, kind of like a teardrop shape. So I'm going to do it from, from here and then just kind of curved around. So I've kind of gone ahead and done the little tiles and stuff with the concealer. So now I'm going to go in for the actual blue of the water and I kind of want to go for this blue shimmer. Because I feel like that will just look so cute. Yeah. The sparkle makes it just a bit more like cute. I try not to mess it up and get the glitter everywhere. All of this bit is like grass, so I'm going to put some pieces of base there and do the grass. Uh, and then kind of make up the rest as we go along, so I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what I'm doing from here out. I just really wanted to get the slide and pull in. <laughs> I 
trying to figure out a way to conceal my nostrils and I think I've found it. I'm going to do a palm tree and the leaves will just drape over. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do it like, like it's just grown from the ground up. For the palm trees, I'm going to go in for the dark, vibrant, like deep, vibrant green. So I ended up forwarding through loads of this because at this point my concentration levels were at 100 and I completely forgot I was even filming so enjoy these little time lapses of me trying to get this look finished. <laughs> I'm really happy with the colour payoff so I'm going to start now by filling in this bit in P. Louise and we're going to paint it black um, or paint it eyeshadow it black I'm going to start filling in now and giving this a bit of a like black outline just to really create the illusion but I'm not sure if I should do like a blue sky in here and like in here and then the rest black so I'm thinking that could be a vibe, I don't know. I'm gonna take the blue from that really cute palette and just pat in here. Gives a bit of a blue sky vibe. Might even do some clouds. And I'm just gonna use P. Louise base to fill out all these bits. I did the little blue sky and I'm obsessed with it. I'm really glad I did it. So I'm just gonna fill out all these bits now in P. Louise because we're gonna do this bit in black eyeshadow to kind of really give the illusion of the split face. I'm going to use the black shadow in my bright 2.0 Beauty Bay palette because as you can see that one's literally hit pan. I don't think there's much black eyeshadow left to be honest with you. It's so pigmented and it's so easy to work with um, but it is breaking up because I have like used it aggressively quite a lot recently. like the payoff I just want to dab that because otherwise it's going to literally but I mean come on that is pigmented I'm kind of sad there because I've used all of it on illusions and like not on a black smoky eye <laughs> I'll buy this whole palette again just for the black and white shades it's that good we're almost at the finish line the state of my hand right now I'm going to go wash it just before I continue because I'm going to get makeup everywhere otherwise so we're almost at the finish line, but I want to do a really glossy pink lip. I never wear pink lipstick, so a bit scared. But I'm going to line it with brown because I just feel like it's my safe place. And then I've got this really pink lip oil from Colourpop. Is it lip oil? It's lip gloss. It's lip gloss. But I'm just going to outline my lip with a bit of brown just so I feel prepared. Uh, you don't see the brown. It just gives me... It's not my comfort blanket. <laughs> Gonna really smudge it out so you can't see, but also that's a bit of dimension. But I feel like if I put pink shit on my lips, it's just gonna look like they're taking off. Okay, this is pink lips. Oh, this is by uh, Tixie Trixie Cosmetics. It's very pink. It's very pink. I'm gonna try it. If I don't like it, we can wipe it off, so it's fine. Uh, oh. Oh, actually it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, I approve, I like that. It's very, very nice. I'm gonna top it off with the lip oil. So I'm gonna use the, the Colourpop Lip Oil in Cosmic Click. And And that is it for this 
illusion thank you so much for joining guys i hope you enjoyed watching me create this look and kind of make it up as i went along if you guys end up watching the barbie movie comment below what you think and yeah see you soon bye